The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, you know, right now, we're patrolling the mean streets of San Gabriel, California. South of San Gabriel, Los Angeles, California. Beautiful, beautiful place. I love it. Um, if I had to pick a place to move in California, it'd be here. It's really nice here. But um, wanted to talk about while we're, while we're going to what we're going to here in San Gabriel, I wanted to talk about out of all the fights, out of all the fights that are coming up on the on on the boxing schedule, I think this one right here for me personally might be the one I'm most excited for, and that's the June twenty sixth fight. We're talking top ring boxing. We're talking to ESPN. Vasil Lomachenko, he returns. The return of Vasil Lomachenko coming off his loss to Tiafimo Lopez as he takes on one of Japan's true warriors, one of Japan's finest, Masayoshi Nakatani. Now, Nakatani, hell of a fighter, man. Hell of a fighter. I got the utmost respect for Nakatani because, you know, he really burst onto the scene when he fought Lopez, when Lopez was on his way up. He was one of the guys in the IBF that Lopez had to go through to get the shot at Lomachenko. Um, or Comey, I should say. Richard Comey. And, you know, he, in my opinion, I thought Nakatani gave Lopez his toughest fight to date. Not Lomachenko, Nakatani. Um, the length, the reach, the size, the, the ferociousness. Th that combination of attributes, it, it gives, uh, uh, it gave Tiafima Lopez a lot of problems in that fight. Um, and, you know, now he's coming off of a win, a big win over Felix Rodejo, which... I'm sure everybody loves Nakatani now that he knocked out Verdejo, but that was a fight where Verdejo was coming in with a lot of momentum. You know, Verdejo is one of the most skilled lightweights on the planet Earth. Uh, he just had the chin of the durability, and, and Nakatani showed a lot of grit, a lot of a lot of determination, and a lot of moxie to get up off the canvas um, and stop Verdejo. You know what I'm saying? So he comes into this fight surely with a lot of confidence, and now he's fighting Lomachenko. Now, this is the ultimate crossroads fight because you have two guys who have both lost to Tiafimo Lopez, but one guy's coming off of the biggest win of his career, the other guy's coming off of the biggest loss of his career. So, you you know, something's got to give. Who comes in with more momentum? Does it really play a factor in the fight? You know, Lomachenko, I don't, I don't got it in front of me because like, 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 like you guys can see, I'm patrolling the streets of San Gabriel, California. But Lomachenko... He's he hasn't you know he's not a big lightweight you know I think he's pushing about five six maybe five five. Well, Lakatani, we're talking about a guy who's six feet tall. Now, as we've seen in the past with Canelo and Callum Smith, in many fights, uh, plenty of fights you know that we can refer to, size doesn't matter as much as people think it does. You know I used to think size really mattered in boxing. It doesn't. It comes down to the skill set of the fighters and what can the fighters do in that boxing ring. Now, Nakatani, he's not a fighter that is known for being a, a world-class outside boxer with a, with a great jab or anything like that. Lomachenko is not someone, you know, he's not, he, he's not someone that um, he can fight on the inside. He does throw body shots, but it's not really his, uh, it's not really his forte. You know, he's a guy that likes to pick you apart from mid-range, pick his shots, turn, uh, turn, or, turn, turn around you, make you reset your feet. That's the fighter he is. So it's an interesting fight because we're gonna. I, I think it's gonna be a very interesting scenario of the bull versus the matador i feel like in this i feel like in this fight nakatani will be the bull who'll be charging forward pressing the action trying to really make it a fight and, and really impose himself on lomachenko because nakatani has a lot to, a lot to fight for in this fight you know we're talking about a guy that's risen from obscurity and he's earned his place in the lightweight division and I give I give Lomachenko a, a lot of credit for fighting him because I know there's a lot of lightweights out there that don't even want to fight Nakatani. So he's fighting a guy, first fight coming off of a tough loss. That truthfully, I don't think a lot I don't think a lot of these lightweights would fancy a fight with Nakatani. He's a tough fighter, and there's not really much in it for you if you beat him. He's not a big name. You're not going to get um, a lot from beating him. So you know, credit to Lomachenko. Look at this house. It's a nice house. Anyway. <laughs> um, so how does this fight play out? That that that's the thing I've been trying to figure out, and I have to go back and watch some tape. But like, you know, it all comes down to the feet. I think this fight all it all comes down to the feet. Like, hello, with, with with Lomachenko, he's someone that you know has elite feet, some of the best footwork you're ever going to see in boxing. Um, Nakatani is a guy that doesn't have the fastest feet in the world. So I think what Lomachenko's advantage is in this fight is, like I said earlier, 
it's, it's, it's his advantage in this fight, like it is in most fighters, stepping around them, making them reset their feet, getting those angles, you know, um, and chopping that body. I think Lomachenko is going to have a lot of opportunities in this fight. Should he fight the normal Lomachenko type of fight, he's going to have a lot of opportunities to, 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 to turn Nakatani and throw those four or five, six punch uh, flurries, those, those are flurries, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what I think he needs to do. For Nakatani, I think he's got he's got to fight with the same kind of intensity he did when he got uh, when he got dropped on the on the canvas against Verdejo, and make Lomachenko have to guess himself because look, Lomachenko, we've seen it in the past. You know when Salido got physical with him, he didn't like it. When uh, Lopez got physical with him in spots of that fight, he didn't like it. Nakatani's bread and butter is physicality, so I think he's got a chance to take Lomachenko some deep, dark, uncomfortable places that, uh, you know, he hasn't even really been to, be honest with you. So, I I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Because either Lomachenko's going to re reannounce himself to the world as one of the premier premier lightweights in the world, or Nakatani's going to announce himself to the world as one of the premier lightweights in the world. Because we got to give respect to Nakatani. This His three-fight run, including this fight, is absolutely amazing. You know, we're talking about Lopez, Verdejo, Lomachenko, back to back to back, coming in as the B-side, no tune-ups, no intermediate fights. He just wants all the smoke. So it's, it's, it's war Nakatani all day over here on True School Sports. I've, I've become a fan. He's won me over. I love the guy a lot. Um, but again, if you're Lomachenko, this is not this is not a time to dilly-dally around and play games. I have, I don't, I'm not gonna ha I don't have an official winner yet. I haven't picked a winner, so don't ask me who I think is gonna win. I don't know yet. I have to go back and watch some tape. On um, both of them, but this is probably the fight in boxing that I'm most excited for because there's so much to gain uh, from both these guys winning the fight. And then look, whoever wins this fight, whoever wins this fight, if they do it in sensational fashion, I think that that fighter is going to have uh, a legitimate claim to uh, to fighting Tiafimo Lopez next. And right now, that's what everybody wants to do in the lightweight division because he's an undisputed champion. So. That's my little synopsis and my little initial thoughts on Lomachenko Nakatani. You guys can give me yours down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Look, patrol on the streets of LA. International, baby. Take care, guys.